Hey there techies, welcome to another video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Bitdefender. It's Rescue CD, I guess we'll call it. And uh, most of you are probably wondering where I've been, so I'll kind of give you a little update. I've been extremely busy with work. It's summer and you know my job is seasonal based, so summer is the busy time. And in addition to that, summer is also the time I like to spend outside and enjoy the nice weather before winter decides to come and destroy it. So that's where I've been too, kind of uh, enjoying the summer and, and that kind of stuff. Also, in addition to that, yeah, some personal things have happened lately that really just kind of didn't allow me to have the ambition to to make videos. So, But we're back now, we're gonna make some more videos and we're gonna see how well Bitdefender can do. I'm really excited because as you all know, Bitdefender has typically in the past done really, really good with their signatures. So this would be really interesting to see how well Bitdefender can clean up this infected virtual machine. So let's go ahead and get right into the test here. I already got the uh, CD, if you wanna call it that, it's an ISO file, um, loaded into the virtual machine and oh, you gotta be kidding me. This does not work out good. Oh. You know, this was working earlier. Why is it not working now? You know, I always love it when this happens. All right, there we go. Um, evidently, I just had run it as administrator. Sometimes it does that. I don't really understand why. Anyway, so let's move that up and we're gonna go ahead and boot into the interface. Here we go. So, Bitdefender's interface. We select our language. We're gonna want English. I love that background. You're gonna hear me say that a lot because it does look really cool. Um, so here we go, we're gonna start it all up. And I really wish, because I have kind of gone into this a little bit before, just kind of pre-screen it a little bit, see what I'm getting myself into. Um, you're gonna notice here that this black screen stays here for a while. Now, I don't know if it's a virtual machine thing or if this is truly just how they intended it to load. Uh, if I had a really slow machine, a physical machine, I would be very concerned because actually I was kind of concerned when I saw this black screen. So Bitdefender, if you could put some sort of a status indicator, uh, just letting me know it's doing something, you know, like a spinny thing or something like that, you know, that would kind of be nice. So, all right, as you can see here, it automatically adjusted to the resolution, which is really nice. Um, so far, the interface is wonderful, I must say. Okay, so Bitdefender Rescue CD, welcome. Okay, so we have our network connection established and we're gonna check the box and we're gonna continue. Uh, and right off the bat, you can see it's checking for updates. That's really nice to see, uh, definitely, because some of them uh, don't necessarily do that right away and they make you do it on your own. Kind of like Komodo, if I remember correctly, that one. Well, I guess, no, you had to initiate the scan and then it would update. Um, but this one so far is pretty straightforward. It looks like it's doing everything on its own. And I must say, I really like that background. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know what it is, but it is just so intricate and, and the, I don't know. That is a lot of layers, that's for sure. Um, and that is a really cool background. Even though I don't even use Bitdefender, I think I, would, I still might put this on my computer for a while just because of how cool it looks. So this is downloading right now. It shouldn't take too much longer, but uh, nevertheless, I will go ahead and speed up the video for you guys. All right, everyone, so it is almost finished here. Um, and, and while this is doing that, we'll, we'll wait till the fin for it to finish here first. Should be done any second now. Any second, there we go. Okay, so it's loading the antivirus engine right now, and it looks as if it will start the scan automatically. And yes, it is. So. It's gonna start the scan automatically. That is nice to see. Let's quick go through the interface a little bit uh, while this is scanning. So up here you can see we have your hard disk and essentially, uh, essentially through the, I think this is the, th I don't know how to pronounce it guys. I'm sorry, Th Thunar? Uh, you're probably laughing at me right now. But anyways, regardless, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the Thun, Thunar, <laughs> Thunar. <laughs> I don't know. File manager. So it's a Linux based file manager in a sense. Um, as you can see here, I'm not a expert on Linux by any means. Um, I've dabbled in Linux, but uh, it's probably showing right now. 
Uh, so anyways, we got a nice, you know, I like the interface though. The start menu down here or the, the menu in, in general is uh, very nice. And this also does come equipped as you saw there with team viewer. So if you have somebody, let's say who is not that computer savvy, you could have them download and make this rescue disc somehow. Don't ask me how they're going to do it. Uh, but they then could have you scan the system and overlook it from a remote location. Now, I do suppose you could always give them a CD and say, oh, here, put this in your computer and give me a call and I will go ahead and walk you through it, that kind of thing. So that's really nice that they automatically put Team Viewer inside of this um, right here. So, uh, and then just a bunch of little different settings and tools and doodads and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just see how well Bitdefender does on its own in the sense of cleaning up this system. So, but so far, interface wise, I'd give it a A plus. I mean, this is a fantastic interface. It's easy to understand. It uh, looks nice. I mean, keep in mind, this is a rescue disguise, but you know, you still want it to be functional to the point where it's appealing and easy to use. So that's gonna be it for now. We're gonna go ahead, let this scan. And like I said, got some family in town, so I'm gonna kinda go get ready a little bit. Well, this is scanning, and hopefully by the time uh, I'm ready to go, I will be able to go ahead and finish this review, and we'll, well, I mean, I won't be able to finish it right now, but you get the point, guys. So I'll stop babbling, I'll let this scan, and let you guys go for now, and I'll be back in just a few seconds, because that's the power of editing right there, right? So, all right, see you in a bit, guys. Hey there everyone, so the scan has finished and it claims to have found 47 threats in basically 504 items. So as you can see here, it looks like we have a lot of adware, um, application generic, some Trojans, and it looks like a worm right there. So it looks like it found quite a bit of infections or infected items, but it doesn't necessarily look like it found a lot. Um, so now it wants me to go through each item here. Oh, isn't it like a way I can do all of them? <laughs> oh, what if I select this one? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to delete all of these objects here. So there we go. So yeah, you have to select this one right here. So now we're going to fix issues. So now it should go through and it should delete all of the programs. So yep, you can see right here, it's deleting all of the infected items. Um, and now the only thing is, if I were to be doing this on a regular system, obviously I'd be doing it just to recover the system to the point where the user would be able to extract any salvageable documents or personal information, I should say. Um, just because the system would be so infected, you know, like it is right now, you'd be better off just wiping out the system entirely. Uh, by deleting this stuff here, if it's a legitimate file that was infected by a, that worm or, or one of these Trojans on here, and now I go ahead and delete that infected file, well, essentially Windows or whatever program needs to use that file to run is not gonna be able to find it anymore because I just deleted it. So we'll see now if this system will actually boot up. So that'll be very interesting. Because um, I think usually I go ahead and quarantine or which quarantine is kind of the same as deleting, but it's just keeping the file and, and encrypting it uh, to the point where it cannot do any harm to your system. But um, usually I, I take the default action, which is disinfect or at least um, repair the file in, a, in layman's terms. So we'll go ahead and let this do its thing. And if anything interesting happens, I'll come back here. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead, reboot the virtual machine back into normal mode, and um, then go ahead and scan with Hitman Pro and, and see what is in fact left on the system that uh, Bitdefender missed, if it missed anything. So I do not know. We're going to go ahead. It'll be a surprise for everyone. So, all right. See you in a bit, guys. All right. So evidently there is a little issue here. Uh, these threats right here um, will not remove. Uh, you can see it tries tries to delete them. Uh, however, I do not get any message stating that it's successful. Uh, disinfecting, essentially it fails to dis disinfect them. So that's not a good sign for Bitdefender right there. Um, so we're gonna try one last thing. We're gonna try and rename them. 
Okay, so it looks like it was able to rename them. Now what this would most likely do is uh, this would prevent the program from being able to see the path of the file. So the path is now broken in a sense. So if it's looking for, um, let's say C test file, and then the file name is test file one, we've now renamed it to just something random like 1Z775 or something like that. The program's still looking for that test file one, but now it can't see it. So it's gonna, in a sense, come back and say, I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're looking for. This, the file that was, the file I was told was supposedly there is not there. It's like a messenger going to pick up a message and saying it'll be at this location and then it's not there. So I guess that's the best way to put it right there. It's probably a better way of explaining it, but I think you guys get the point. So either way, all threats have been now resolved successfully. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn on my VPN right here. And this is actually the main interface. We haven't seen this yet, remember, because it automatically started its scan um, on its own, which is nice. But uh, nevertheless, this is the main interface. Settings wise, not too much in the way of settings there. Uh, let's go ahead and check down here. I'm um, just see system, okay, settings. Oh, okay, these are just system settings and this is not necessarily just, this isn't anything related to security. So uh, in a sense of security settings, not a lot, but you know, if it does a good job, you really don't need a lot. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and we're gonna go ahead and, thank you, CyberGhost. We're gonna go ahead and, oh, that didn't sound good. Restart the system. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And, and hopefully, everything will be good. So I gotta get ready here and unmount the CD here. So we'll go there, we'll go there, and then we'll go ahead and restart the system. So now since she will boot up into regular mode. And we will see how well Bitdefender did. So I'll let it boot up here once it's booted up. We will go ahead and see the results. Um, I think I'll just start the scan with Hitman Pro. And um, once that's done, we'll look at the system and look at the results at the same time. So, All right, there. everyone. So as you can see here, uh, we're back in our regular Windows environment. And according to the desktop, a lot has actually been cleaned up. Yeah, there's still some adware remaining, as you can see, but adware is not a huge deal. Uh, still some issues down here in the task tray, as you can see, just things not showing up right. Um, system is still pretty slow, I must say. So there is still a lot in the way of crap on here. But in the way of really dangerous crap, I guess we'll call it, not so much. Uh, as you can see right here, we have a couple Trojans. However, they are located within the temporary um, folders. So not a huge deal there. Uh, the ones that I would be concerned about are these right here, which are an app data. So those, those would possibly be an issue. Uh, looks like that's just an icon. So I don't even know if this program is still on the system. Um, it might be in that location right there, hiding over there. But uh, there are some register keys associated with that. Search protect, uh, which is a, from my, if I remember correctly, it is a fake search engine, essentially that uh, hooks itself in your browser. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Uh, and then the find wide registry key right here. Some uh, suspicious one right here. Digital signature was not. Um, okay, so file invalid. Okay, so that's most likely part of a piece of malware. And then we just got the my search right down here. Um, Xtab, Baidu, and then just some other potentially unwanted programs as you can see on the system here. And it is slow. And then tracking cookies down here. But all of the real bad malware is up here and, and it's not even in really bad locations. So that's a good thing. So overall, what is my take on Bitdefender's ability to clean up the system? I think it did exactly what it said it was going to do. It rescued the system. Uh, it got me back into Windows in a sense of making it a little bit more palatable to use. Uh, overall, like I said earlier, I would still go ahead and just wipe everything out but now at least I can get to my files. I can get to my files. Maybe. 
Um, it's just really slow, guys. Right now, my hard drive is just going absolutely apeshit uh, over the fact that there's so much adware on here. So it will load eventually. Uh, however, I would obviously do the get, try and get the files off in a uh, bootable environment, anyways. But that's just me. Anyways. So overall, it did a wonderful job, guys. I would suggest Bitdefender in your toolbox uh, if you're helping someone clean up a an, or an infected machine, uh, especially considering that it comes with TeamViewer integrated into it. Uh, you, it is a download. You have to have internet connectivity, obviously, because to use it, obviously, you need internet connectivity. But in a sense, it will provide a very nice, uh, it's a very nice tool in a sense to use for someone who is not very tech savvy and and doesn't necessarily know what to remove uh, on a system at all. And oh, there is Explorer finally. You know, that only took about, you know, 10 minutes to load, but hey, you know what, we're there, right? So um, we'll go ahead and close out the scan results. Uh, if we look, can we look at documents here? I don't think there's anything in there. I don't even know why I clicked on it. Um, let's try pictures. But um, anyways, the test is over. I don't even need to go in here really because I mean, we saw it did a it, it did a bang up job in my mind for as infected as the system was. So, um, yeah, there's there's that that that's encrypted though. I think I don't think we're gonna be able to see that. We'll try and open it up here quick. Um, but overall, it did a good job. Uh, very easy to use. I must say that too. Uh, loading it up, it pretty much was self sufficient. It did everything on its own. Uh, but quite, yeah, see this is it's still encrypted so unfortunately my files are junk on this system anyways but I wasn't expecting Bitdefender to do anything about that just because it can't it realistically cannot do anything about that but um, that's gonna be it for the test guys hope you'd enjoy it hope you enjoyed it uh, I'll have some more videos out soon for you guys hopefully but like I said I got relatives in town right now uh, and then the following weekend I'm going on a vacation so I'm not even gonna be around here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do some videos up there. I'll record some stuff. You can go ahead and see it then. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So I'll show you guys kind of come kind, of, kind of where I'm heading and stuff. So maybe maybe because users coming too. At least I think users coming. So and then my family will be there and stuff like that. So all right, I'm gonna stop rambling on and end this video here. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.